everyone, this is Liz from The Happy Teacher. And today I wanna to share with you some tips for successful parent-teacher conferences. If your school has implemented student-led conferences, these tips will still help you out. Conference time can be super overwhelming and exhausting. Between scheduling, the paperwork, the long days and nights, and being on all day, it is totally overwhelming. My very first year in the classroom, I was fresh out of college, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I taught half-day kindergarten. So in the morning I had 25 kiddos, and in the afternoon I had 27 kiddos, which was so wonderful, it was a great year. Here's the thing, when parent-teacher conference time came, I had 52 conferences. Now, talk about being overwhelmed and exhausted at the end of the week. These six tips I'm going to share today will help you have productive and positive parent-teacher conferences. My first tip is to use the sandwich method. You're going to want to start out the parent-teacher conference by talking about a positive about the child. You wanna praise the child, tell the mom and dad a positive or a funny story about the kiddo, something that you really love about the child. After you do that, it's okay then to get into maybe some areas of concern or areas where they need improvement. And finally, you'll wanna finish with another positive about the child. So sandwich method is positive, area of concern, and then another positive. This will make things flow a lot more naturally in the conference, and you'll be giving the parents a lot of good feedback about their child, as well as the thing that they need to work on. My second tip is to let students be involved in parent-teacher conferences. I always have my students fill out a self-evaluation before I meet with their parent. The self-evaluation is a good way for the student to take ownership of their work habits and their behavior and their grades. It's a lot easier to talk to parents about difficult topics when the student has already filled out a self-evaluation talking about how they think they're doing in school. And it's fun to see how honest the kids really are. The parents always love it too. Tip number three, have a notebook close by when you're conducting parent-teacher conferences. When a parent asks you a question or you need to follow up on an issue after the conference, jot it down inside your notebook. That way, when all of your conferences are over with, you'll have one place that has all of the questions and areas that you need to follow up on with parents. It'll be a lot easier to get it all done that way and you won't forget about something that a parent asked you to do. Tip number four, empower parents to help out at home by giving them resources. You could give the parents a bookmark with questions to ask their child at night when they're reading together. Maybe you could give them a list of websites and apps, things that the kids can do at home to reinforce the skills that they're learning at school. Also, parents love ideas for practicing spelling words and math facts. So something like this, something that will give them a chance to work with their child at home and really empower them to help out. I also like to give parents a little treat to give to their kiddo. Maybe a lollipop or a little something like that that they can take home. It will help them spark a conversation with their child about things we discussed at the parent-teacher conference. Tip number five. Have a note card close by with a list of topics that you can talk about with parents if you get in a bind. In my experience, some conferences flow very naturally and time goes so quickly. Others can be a little bit more challenging. So if you have a note card with a list of topics, it will give you something to discuss with parents if you get stuck. Some examples are maybe upcoming field trips, school events that are coming up, if you need volunteers for an activity, maybe even good library books to check out with their child, um, another suggestion would be to show students work samples and talk about upcoming research projects or portfolios. Something like this that will give you a topic to talk about with parents when you're having one of those conferences that isn't flowing so naturally. My last tip is a super simple one, but it will be very helpful. You'll want to have a few activities set up in your classroom in case the parents bring along the child or a younger sibling. You'll want some simple, easy to do activities. Maybe computer games, puzzles, coloring pages, wiki sticks. You could even set up a bucket of math manipulatives for the little ones to work on while you talk to their parents. This will give you and the parents a chance to talk closely without being interrupted by the little ones. Just pick some simple, easy to clean up activities, something that the kids can do on their own. Parent-teacher conferences can be overwhelming and exhausting. As we all know, it's a lot of work. The best thing I ever did was to fill out a parent-teacher conference form in advance for each child before I met with their parent. It can be a checklist or an open-ended form. You'll want to cover their strengths, social skills, and work habits. You'll want to cover their test results, grades, areas for improvement, and ways that the parents can help at home. Right 
down simple, straightforward notes that will help you stay on track during the conference. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. I hope you found these parent-teacher conference tips to be helpful. Check out my blog for more teaching tips, tricks, and advice on parent-teacher conferences. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.